Look at that. Hello and welcome to this video. If you love anything crafting and creativity or anything small business or craft market related, this video is for you. I'm Christine, the creator and owner of Create by Christine. I design and sell stickers and stationery for my online stationery boutique. Today's video, I'm gonna be making something for my markets. I don't get to do in-person markets and pop-up events often because I'm also a full-time classroom teacher and that takes up you know a lot of time but when I do I've learned that I need a cohesive space to check out it's gonna be easier for the customers and for myself to be able to have a place where I can have the square reader card have a scan to pay for like the Venmo QR code I used to put the business cards because right now I'm like holding the square reader with one hand I've got like business cards shoved in my pocket I'm taking them out like a wrinkled business card and like here you go it's a little thing to take home and honestly that's just like not the way to do things so I decided we're gonna have a little checkout stand where it'll all just be in one central location the material is gonna be wood so it'll be nice and sturdy while I would love to try to you know DIY this file template I'm going to respect my time respect your time and also support other artists I'm gonna search and purchase a template online that I can just quickly upload I'm so crafting creativity you never know how it's gonna turn out and in my mind it's gonna turn out really good but I guess we'll have to just see let's go First things first, we're gonna be using the light maple plywood. This is a 12 by 12, um, a 12 by 12 sheet, which is perfect because the the arch is gonna be like maybe 10 inches tall and eight inches wide, so that's perfect amount. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This makes me look orange. This is the Glowforge Aura right here. Although I am not quite ready yet to start the project in the machine. I like to put the material in the machine first so that when it shows up on my computer software, I can kind of get a better idea and visualize where it's going to cut. You'll see what I mean. First things first is to cut out just the arch. Now we're on the Glowforge app software on my computer and so I'm screen recording this so you can see how I'm kind of setting it up. I'm uploading the files that I purchased and I also uploaded my own images like my logo and the Venmo QR code to just get an idea of like how it would look on the arch. I'm not ready to cut that stuff yet up but you know me. I'm a very visual person so I gotta see it. Since I'm cutting out one piece at a time, I um, removed and ignored everything else except for the arch design so that the machine knows to only cut the arch and here it is cutting the arch out. Word on the street that the time is done and the arch is ready. So Now need our second piece right here. Now we're gonna do like phase two, which is the bottom of the stand. Unfortunately, sometimes crafting goes wrong and the process has a couple obstacles. In this case, my machine got misaligned and I didn't realize it until the end. So you can see that it's like cutting the shape out not correctly and it's it's a bummer because uh, it means I have to do it all over again. But because it didn't go all the way through, I was able to salvage the material and still use it anyway. But this is such an upsetting sight to see. Like, it's just so misaligned and it's really off. But here we are, not giving up, persevering, and we're gonna try again. The little glowing circle button is the go, the start button. Tell me why it's so satisfying to press. But let's take a look at the do-over. It looks like it's good. I'm just popping out the shape. It just needs like a little help, which um, sometimes it happens, I guess. I don't mind the little imperfection on top, like that little score line from the previous project job because it's gonna get blocked out anyway by the arch. Okay, so now we're back inside the studio where I have some table space to do the project and put it all together. Here I am taking off the protective masking tape. This protects the um, actual wood material from getting any burn marks or scratches. And obviously excited me is like trying to practice putting it together to see how it's gonna look before it's even painted. <laughs> the last piece is the bottom and thankfully it's just a solid rectangle and it was quick and easy and it was aligned and all correct. If you see my videos before, you know this plastic shoe box is a 
paint box with a bunch of paints and paintbrushes and paint trays. And this is the part where I take forever deciding which colors I'm going to use. But of course, I should know better. I'm always ending up with that like lightish pink color. Like, why do I even try to change it up? I mean, pink is my safe color. I guess I just know that it won't go wrong. So uh, I don't know. Another time I'll try something else. Those greens and oranges, though, are also like one of my top faves. And can I just note, like in high school and college, I used to lose these paint bottles all the time because I would buy them for like a dollar or less from, you know, craft stores, and then I would never put them back in the right place. But now with this organi organizer, I do not lose them. I've decided for now, I'm just gonna make them all pink. So I'm gonna paint all the pieces pink. The arch is the only one that's gonna get the front and back because if you look at the back, I don't want it to be a different color. But I can always layer it up with other colors and embellish it with other things. Let's head back over to the Glowforge Aura to see the other pieces that I'm going to add on. And these are getting cut and also some are getting engraved. And it's probably important to note, but this is sped up like quite a bit. So it's um, engraving takes a while. You can see my logo is getting engraved right now. This is like so cool to watch. But alas, it's done. Let's take a look. How did it turn out? I always just hope that the pieces pop out. Check. Yes, it did. And so far, so good. The only thing that doesn't look quite right is the Venmo logo, which didn't look like it got engraved very well. But no worries, because I can always cut it again. Uh, maybe it needs a higher image resolution or it just, just needs another chance. One thing I'm learning about laser engraving is that you gotta be patient and also give yourself a couple chances. Okay, so back to painting. Um, I'm painting the back now and I got a little excited because that's way too much paint, but okay. So let's take a look at the pieces that I just cut and it does turn out that the Venmo sign or the Venmo logo is a little bit too light. So I ended up making a new one and it was a little smaller too just because I don't think the Venmo QR code needs to be that overpowering compared to my logo. So maybe it was not a bad idea after all to do it again. I also cut out flowers. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it and turns out I didn't end up using it by the end, you'll see, but I had extra space and the, you know, the cut job was going anyway. So I just added some flowers and um, I don't know, I thought it would be nice to have it, but it got a little bit visually distracting, so I didn't end up putting it, but hey, now I have some wood cut out flowers. <laughs> Guys, we are ready to glue it all together. So I'm using my Gorilla Wood Glue to glue it all together. Kind of going a little crazy, but trying to control myself because I feel like every time I do this, I always put too much glue and it just goes everywhere. The two base layer pieces get glued together so that the square reader and the business card and also the arch has a slot to lean against. I'm playing around with the layout and I don't know guys, do you think that the flowers belong there? I didn't end up putting it, disclaimer, because I just felt like it was, it was a little too busy. The display is done and it's all dried up, so let's test it out. The square reader fits perfectly on the left side. I designed and get my business cards printed from Vistaprint and here's a new box that I'm destroying as I open it, but let's take a stack of cards and see. I hope that it like fits snug in that little slot. Yes! It looks amazing. 
Now for the real test to see how it'd be like if someone was doing tap to pay on their phone and it looks good, like nothing is like blocking it or in the way. And now I'm testing out the business card. How does it feel to take it and grab one? Oh, it's pretty good. I think it's like spaced out pretty naturally. It feels, nothing's like overcrowded in that area. And now we're trying the Venmo QR code. First, it works, which is great, <laughs> but also um, the height of it is, is okay it's not it's a little bit on the lower side but i would probably have it a little bit raised on a platform anyway at a market i'd say this glowforge project was a success it was the first time i made any kind of like display and i feel pretty good about it and i'm really excited to use it at a future market thanks for watching and tuning in and i'll see you in the next one